it's going to be challenging, but it's also exciting for the restaurants. As of March 28, Montreal will officially ban single-use plastics in restaurants and other food businesses across the city. A major step to reaching its zero-waste objectives by 2030, but local businesses affected by the ban, like Cuisine de Mani, say the transition from plastic to paper will cost more than just a few more cents per packaging. It's a step forward for, for the city in terms of sustainability. I think it's something that was long overdue, but I do think uh, that it's hurting the businesses, both in terms of cost and also in terms of marketing. So we need to find a way around it, and it isn't going to be easy. Contaway says costs will double, having to switch from plastic to non-plastic soup bowls. He also claims that the restaurant will lose free advertising now that they must replace their plastic cups for a paper alternative. A lot of our drinks are going to be switching to paper cups which is going to be very difficult in terms of marketing as well because, you know, drinks look a lot more Instagrammable, they're a lot more colorful. The restaurant already began transitioning their packaging to paper bags and takeout boxes. But with the ban set to come into effect Tuesday, Contaway struggles not knowing what to do with the leftover plastics. We still have a lot of stock, so we have to worry about, you know, getting rid of the stock on time, which I don't think will happen. But I hope the city will be lenient enough to let us finish the stock first. Contaway says restaurants received emails by the city warning them of the ban a year in advance. But other food businesses in Montreal like them are also racing against time to replace their single-use plastics before the deadline. Restaurateurs are lifting their part of the weight with the policy changes. But it is also on consumers to change their behavior, to adapt and to support the businesses who are changing their business model. And to use reusable containers in these businesses. So it really is a policy that equally concerns restaurateurs and consumers who also have to get used to the policy change. In Montreal, Diona Makalinga, City News.